Hello, my friends. Good evening to another English class. I know it is raining in some places. I don't know if that is your case, but welcome back. Bienvenido de regreso. Guillermo, good evening. How are you tonight? Uh, good evening, teacher. Um, fine. I think a little bit tired, but I'm fine. Okay. Fine. Tired, but fine. Um, when is your day off? When are you it's, going to rest? It's Sunday. Sunday. Finally. Okay. Finally. Okay. But remember, after this class, we're going to have, let me see, just what? Uh, today is Wednesday, right? Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, here we have Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, Tuesday, right? I'm sorry, Tuesday. Seven classes, okay? Just seven more classes, Guillermo, and you're going to have, believe me, a good vacation from the night classes, okay? So here we have also, I know that you want to sleep, Guillermo. Everybody wants. I know, I know. Yes, teacher. Yeah, but we're about to finish. We are in the, in the yeah, in the final part. Daniel, good evening. Daniel, do you, are you there? No problem, right? Yeah. Is it raining near your house? Not raining, no rain, Daniel. No, no, no rain. Thank you. Okay, maybe Eduardo Melendez, are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay, everything okay, no problem? Yes, all, all okay. Okay, everything is okay. That's perfect. Okay, Um. let's see who else do we have here. Rivas. Hello, Rivas, no problem? Okay, maybe Rivas is going Hello, to... Hello, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Hi. No problem? No, teacher. Okay, that's it. No problem at all. Okay, thank you very much. Let me check. Okay, we're going to check this. Sorry. I'm just preparing something. Let's see who else. Katia. Hi, Katia. Are you there? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Everything in order? Hello, yeah? Sorry? Uh, everything oh, okay? Yes. yes. Okay. That's perfect. Okay. I like to hear that. Okay, um, let's see. Okay. I want to check something. Okay, Eduardo, yes, Rosalind, not by the moment. Uh, David, David. Hello, are you okay? Good evening. evening. Finally. But you're at home? Ya casi, teacher. Okay. En camino. En camino. Okay. On your way. You're moving. Okay, no problem. Okay, well, we're going to start here. The class for tonight, it's about how to use idioms, part one. Idioms are phrases, 
and expressions or ideas that are not so well they are common but and they are not part of formal english but yeah it is very used in common english what is the difference between in a formal english and common english when i say a formal english you talk grammatically correct in all senses for example when you say okay formal english versus informal english or it can be common english you can say if here you say hello you here you say what's up if in formal english you say it's raining you can say here it's raining cats and dogs if you say it's raining heavily está viendo muy fuerte o sea está pesado pesada la lluvia you say it's raining cats and dogs está lloviendo eh, gatos y perros es como que como decimos eh, un gran en caso casi un vaso de agua okay so it's part of like informal english common english but for a uh, here formal english is the one that we teach and specifically in schools or english courses but we're going to check this in a moment this is the class number 13 class number 13 after this class, we just have seven classes, solo siete classes, and we say goodbye, my friends. So, the question is, what is the common illness you have? Okay, what is the most common illness or sickness? ¿Cuál es la enfermedad o cuál es uh, el síntoma? ¿Cuál es algún virus? Más común que les da. And here we have some examples because I like to uh, give always examples. And you can say asthma, backache, broken leg, cold, cough. Remember G and H, the pronunciation is like with F, cough, earache, fever, the flu. Headache, heartburn, measles, rash, sore throat, stomachache, sunburn, toothache. Okay, so the question is, what is the most common illness you have? ¿Cuál es la enfermedad más común que ustedes tienen o que les da? Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds, please. Chat, text in the, in the chat and mention what is the most common illness you have. During the year, during the line, of course.
Okay, maybe I want to explain something. Here we have cold and flu. Um, they are maybe, it is easy to confuse. Cold is resfriado. Flu is gripe. When it's raining and it is getting cold, it is very common that we have cold because here we have some constipation. Se nos tapa la nariz. But that's it. But the flu, it's a mix of symptoms. You can have fever, headache, sore throat, and you are like dizzy, está como mareado, so that's it. And let's see. Uh, which one do you uh, do, do you mention? Remember that you are not free. No están uh, exentos. You are not exempt of getting this. Okay, Daniel says cold. David called Guillermo backache. Okay, Guillermo, uh, is is that because you spend all your days sitting, or is mm. because you you are injured? Está lastimado, or I don't know. Maybe you have some difficulties. I am it? injured because uh, in the past I was playing football okay. and tuve una mala caída. You, you have like an accident, okay? So, uh, yeah, you have to be checking that because now you are young, but when you are older, maybe you can suffer more because of that, right? So, yeah, thank you for sharing. Eduardo says the flu, okay? In my case, it's a toothache, okay, Rivas? Oh, that's very disgusting pain, Rivas. I don't know if uh, in our case, I don't know in my case, sometimes it is difficult to go to the dentist because of the time. But act, uh, currently, actualmente, Rivas, you have that problem with toothache? Not necessarily. Uh, not necessarily. Okay, but sometimes, yeah, it happens. Thank you. Sometimes. Yes. Yeah. I know. And that, that's very uncomfortable. Super incomodable. That's really uncomfortable. Um, yeah, okay. Katia says cold and Maritza cold. Okay, that usually happens. I know that uh, it is not uh, funny this uh, sickness or symptoms because you feel bad, you don't want to work, you don't want to do anything. So, yeah. I imagine that, okay? And the, the next conversation, it is going. It is about that. It is about illnesses or sickness. But before that, uh, here we have, well, this is not full. This is not the phone language. This is our, these are idioms. I'm sorry. Okay, here we have these idioms. When a person says, hello, stranger. Fancy meeting you here. Long time to see. Where is your hangout? Dice, ¿dónde está tu lugar de reunión? En lugar de decir, what, what is the place of the reunion? Or what is taking place the reunion? Okay. Let's go for a drive. I'm not in the mood. I don't feel like it. Um, I recommend you to write this. Le recomiendo que anoten este. This is but really common. I don't feel like it. When you say, for example, well, I have company tonight. Esta sí se es, tal cual, esta no es un idiom, pero I have a blast. Eso sí. Otro idiom podría ser break a leg, rompe una pierna. For example, before a, a concert, a soccer match, a un, antes de un partido, before something important, in your life, uh, you can say good luck, buena suerte, yeah, good luck. But an idiom for that is break a leg. ¿Verdad? Rompete una pierna. It's like another form, say good luck. But in the case of this one that I told you, I don't feel like it. No tengo ganas. You can say feel like going out. No tengo ganas de salir. El, 
el, ¿cómo se llama? El verbo, the verb that is next to fi, eh, like is with ing. Es un gerundio. Another. I feel like dancing. Feel like, feel, saben qué sentir. Like, gustar, pero cuando lo unen, I feel like es como tengo ganas. I don't feel, I, I feel like dancing. Tengo ganas de bailar. I feel like dancing salsa. Okay. I feel like eating tacos. Or I don't feel like watching TV. Okay. So this is something like kind of common with the verb feel like. Eh, tengo ganas o no tengo ganas. Okay. So here we have hello stranger, fancy, fancy meeting you here. Long time to see. What is your hangout? Let's go for a drive. I'm not in the mood. I don't feel like it. I have a company tonight. Have a blast. Okay. I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say one of these. So I can check if you're here. Well, we start with Adi is not here. Christy? Do we have Christy here? No. Luisa? Either. Andre? I don't know if Andre is here. Okay. If not, we go with eh, Rivas. We yes, teacher. I have company tonight. Thank you. Very nice, Rivas. Thank you. Uh, Daniel, Ernesto, please, Daniel. Hi. Present teacher. I'm not in the mood. Perfect. And uh, David, what about you, David? Hi. Hello, teacher. Let's go for in a drive. Thank you. Evelyn. I don't know if Evelyn is here. If not, we move with Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo. Uh, present teacher. Uh, long time, no see. Thank you. Okay. I guess John is not available. But Katia is. Right, Katia? Yes. Hello. Uh, I have company tonight. Okay, perfect. Maritza, good evening. Good evening. Fancy meeting you here. Perfect, sounds really good. Uh, Gustavo, your turn, my friend. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, let's go for in the drive. Mm, good one, thank you. Oscar Daniel, I guess uh, he's a his listener now. Eduardo, yes, right, Eduardo. Yes, teacher. Where Perfect. is your hangout? Good one. Okay. Rosalie, not available by now. Susie, I don't know if she's moving, but well, anyway. Hey, teacher. Okay, hello. Hello, stranger. Thank you. That's it. Perfect. Very nice. Hello, stranger. Okay. Um, here we have idioms. And in this case, here we have do you often get sick? What are the procedures to report a work absence? Okay, a question to you. This is a question. Just give me a second.
So the question in here says, do you often get sick? And what are the procedures to report a work absence? I don't know how many permissions you have. ¿Cuántos permisos tienen ustedes? How many permissions? I don't know if you have like two, three, four. Maybe you can write it here if you have two permissions doing your job or more. I want to know. You can write it in the chat, no problem. Okay, Eduardo says three. What about the others? I guess in most of the companies you have like three, right? But I don't know if you can have um, some others which you don't have permissions or it is difficult or maybe if you have evidence, if you go to the doctor, you can have permissions. Okay, thank you, Eduardo. Three, Maritza, no permissions. Um, es como no están establecidos, creo, porque una vez pedí me dieron, pero solo para salir en el momento y regresar. No okay, el día completo. It, it was for a moment, right? It was yeah. in the morning or three hours, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Guillermo, zero. No permissions in your case. No, I have to go to the doctor. Just, just in that case, in, in that case, right? Yeah. Solo okay. con incapacidad. De ahí, uno se puede estar muriendo y no le dan permiso. Come on, okay. And it is, it is really hard because in seguro social sometimes it is really difficult to, to be attended. Medicine is not there. Uh, sometimes it Fí, is... Fíjese que hemos descubierto un lugar. Bueno, eh, hay uno que es el Santanita. Ahí usted va y siempre le da. Es más, le preguntan cuántos días quiere. Really? Santanita. Wow. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Good that... information. Good oh, information. Sí. Por si yeah. le, les interesa, pues ya saben, ¿verdad? Thank you, Guillermo. Thank you for sharing. I guess that is the way every Seguro Social should be. Así deberían de ser, right? Sí, wow. ya por de mi granito de arena esta vida. Ok, Guillermo, ya puedes morir en paz. Hiciste, esta era tu misión en la vida. Thank you. Ok, ya David ya lo anotó. Dice. Próximo, en Waze ya lo marcó. Yes. David, you don't have permissions. Zero. Uh, no teacher in my company. Uh, they they took in front the holidays. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Katia. Hello there. You never. Uh, uh, no. What a worker no, woman. Enferma, siempre voy. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Yeah, well, it uh, depends. I guess depends on the on the illness, because sometimes you can go working even you are you are not one hundred percent, okay. But you can work. But there are some other cases that are this like really really difficult. But you're really brave. Eres muy valiente. Okay. Teacher. Hello, Luisa. Hi. Good evening. Eh, estaba escuchando lo de la conversación de los permisos. Yes. Mm -hmm. eh, de hecho, teacher, hay cosas que a veces uno no sabe, pero eh, la ley está que usted tiene derecho a dos permisos en el mes, pero es cosa que uno a veces no ignora o, o, o por miedo, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. esto no lo dicen, pero sí está establecido. Y usted tiene derecho a dos permisos en el mes. Ok. 
Okay, that, that's interesting. I had an idea that you had three during the year. Yo tenía entendido que eran tres durante el año, but I didn't want that to. But I guess it depends on the companies, right? And depends on we as employees, como empleados también a veces, pues no pasamos. Sí, no pero eso no es de compañía, teacher. Eso es de, de ley. O sea, está okay. en el... En el uh -huh. Okay, okay, I got it. Because, well, I, I say because of the companies, the West of because if you have with uh, professional services, servicios profesionales, es diferente tener un contrato, right? Because I have worked as professional services and no permissions. Ahí en día que yo falte, me descuentan o no, no pagan. En cambio con contrato y todo eso, eh, me doy cuenta que it's kind of different porque paga seguro y todo eso, but, well, I guess we, we have to investigate and check with the enterprises because if it is a right, si es un derecho, why not? But we are not accustomed, estamos acostumbrados a pedir permiso, right? Here, yeah, we, we, you don't have that, that costume, but thank you, Luisa, thank you for sharing. Okay, um, we move now with this conversation. It says, Jenny is sick. She calls her boss to explain what the problem is. Interesante. This, okay, so Jenny is calling to her boss. We have different types of bosses. Bosses that they listen and they say, okay, go to the doctor. And there are some others that they say, okay, go to the doctor in the morning and come to work in the afternoon. Yeah, one, ha one time it happened to me, once. So, well, and here we have this. Let's check. Um, Mr. Ruiz versus Danny. Mr. Ruiz, good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello. Mr. Ruiz, this is Danny. I have a situation. Hi, Danny. Tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me, and I am sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you're feeling better. Oh, yeah, I'm in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope you see, I hope. To see you on Monday. Come on, listen. I hope to see you on Monday. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Okay, so the, the, this person says that no problem. That Jenny can recover and get, get better. So, and here we have some um, idioms or idiomatic expressions. Like, my stomach, stomach is killing me. Está como fácil de entender, right? So, uh, Jenny has problems with uh, her stomach. I'm sick as a dog. It means like she's very bad. She feels really bad. Okay. Uh, he says, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. También pues estaba hace esos dos días. Oh, really? There's something going around. Algo, algo pasa. Eh, oh, well, yeah, I'm in tip-top shape. Como que ya está súper bien. Tip-top shape. Take it easy. Calmate. Take it easy is very common. Calm es calmarse. Take it easy. Como una canción de The Eagles. Muy buena. Take it easy. Es eh, calmate. Tómalo con calma. Ok. Tú puedes decir calm. ¿Verdad? O keep calm. So we're going to practice this. I know that there are some phrases that they don't make sense 100%, no saying sentido al 100%, but yeah, it's part of the idioms. So, Maritza can help me, please. Uh, send in the, the screenshot, and we're going to practice in pairs. Then we're going to talk about some other idioms that we're going to study. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Maritza. Okay, I'm going to
Okay, I'm going to form the teams. Okay, my friends, let me check. Okay, see you in a moment. Okay, Luisa, maybe you can accept. Let's see.
Okay, let's see, Rosalie, are you okay? Hello, teacher. Um, Hello, Rosalie, ready? available? Yeah, okay, perfect. I know that you were kind of busy, but now can you participate, right? Okay, let's see. Maybe we can have the participation of Eduardo. Okay, let's yes, see. Yeah, Eduardo, you were I work with Rivas. with Rivas, right? Yes. Okay, so in this case, instead of saying Danny, we can change the name, right? We can do that. Danny, let's see. Okay, here how Danny. Así que uno de ustedes no tiene que ser Gianni. Yo, yo sé, por ejemplo, hello, Mr. Ruiz, this is Eduardo, or hello, Mr. Ruiz, this is uh, Carlos. Okay. Depends on you. Here we have Gianni. I guess that that's all. Okay. Rivas, are you there? Okay. Yeah, you can change the name. Instead of Gianni, you can use your name, please. Can you practice, please? Rivas. Okay, Rivas, okay, are you teacher. ready? Hey, teacher, good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Eduardo. I have a situation. Hi, Eduardo. Tell me, what is the matter? I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's something going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip-top shape. Take it easy, Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Reese. Have a nice, have a nice rest of the day. Thank you, Eduardo and, and Rivas and Maritza. Please, could you help us? Uh, David and Gustavo. Okay, maybe you can, ah, you were working with three. Maybe you can select one of them. David or Gustavo, uh, David. depends. David. Okay, okay, let's go with David. Good morning, this is, this is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. This is Jenny. I have a situation. Uh, hi, Jenny. Tell me what is the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My stomach is killing me. I'm as sick as a dog. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There's some time going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh yeah, I am. I in TikTok. The crazy Jenny. I hope to see you on Monday. Thanks a lot, Mr. Ruiz. Have a nice rest of the day. Perfect. Thank you uh, very much. Let's see. So this is practically very um, easy to understand. Um, they are talking about some symptoms, some problems with uh, some illness and health. Here we have a question. Uh, why can't Jenny go to work? Number two, how does Mr. Ruiz respond to that situation? Maybe Yermo can help us. Could you select one of these questions and give a possible answer? Number one, why can't Jenny go to work? Number two, how does Mr. Reese uh, respond to the situation? Maybe Yerbo okay. can help us and then and, Katia. Uh, 
Number one, why mm -hmm. can't Janine go to work? Is because um, she is not feeling well. Okay. And her stomach is killing her. Killing her, yeah, specifically her stomach, right? That's the main problem. Thank you. And Katia, could you help me with number two? How does Miss Harris respond to that situation? Okay, maybe Katia is not there. We are going to listen to Gustavo. Okay, Sorry. Gustavo. Okay, Katia. Hi. Sí, sí, lo siento. <laughs> Perdón, ¿cuál era la pregunta? Okay, the question is number two. It says, how does Mr. Reese respond to that situation? And, uh, he says uh, different they... things. Well, a lot of things, but maybe there are some of them that are more particular and more important. And uh, two days ago, I was feeling under the weather. The too. weather too. Okay, that's one important, but there's another. Okay, maybe we can, yeah, he was very empathic, but muy empático. But look at this. I hope to see you on Monday. So it means that this uh, bus, uh, this superior is like uh, trying to help her because he says, okay, go home and see you uh, some other day, right? So that's it. Thank you. But in the real life, we don't have buses like this. Well, there are some, but there are few. And here we have this. Mention the best things in your company. I know there are a lot of things that you can mention about your company because you have maybe a three, four, five years. Even if you are working for the first time or in your first year, it means that you already know some characteristics of your company, okay? So what we're going to do is that we're going to type, we're going to type that uh, the best things in your company, you can select one, or I prefer to uh, mention two. Two things, two characteristics, for example, uh, related to schedules, it can be related also with payment related to the sources, the recursos. If the if you consider that the equipment is it's good, if the equipment is suitable, adequate, the security um related also with the the other situations, things or characteristics that are good from the company you are working with, okay? Select two of them. Remember that we're going to talk about the bad things, but later, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Don't, it is not necessary to write a lot. For example, Okay, uh, this is, uh, these are just example, some examples. So I have mentioned two, I need to, to say two of your things. We're going to uh, give one round, una sola ronda vamos a hacer respuestas, okay? I'm going to be waiting for your answer.
So let's see. I know that you have a lot, but 100 of things positively to say about your company. But okay, Daniel. Could you read yours? And then we go with Maritza. Okay, the best thing in my company is I have a stable schedule and fixed rest. Okay, um, you don't, your schedule doesn't change. It's the same time, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Thank you. Perfect. Maritza and then Guillermo. Provide the necessar necessary resource. Okay, no problem with the equipment, the things that you need. Yeah, the necessary. Nice, thank you. Um, Guillermo, and then we go with Eduardo. Uh, well, the best thing in my company, I think, is the good schedules from Monday to Friday and the security of the company. Of the company. Okay, you don't work on Saturday, right? Or, yeah, you do. Yeah, on Saturday. You you finish at noon? Mm, at yeah, 12. Uh, around 6 p.m. Okay. Okay, thank you. Eduardo, please. Uh, in my company, the best thing is uh, they pay us for two days before to the day correspondent and they give us uh, tools uh, so are very well. Okay, nice, L like uh, the correct tools, right to work. And I get that that's very important to complete your tasks, your works, but the best thing I consider is that they pay you two days before. I have worked in different companies and that's a big problem. When they pay you three days after the, 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 the day of payment or even sometimes one week after. So that's, that's really sad because you have a budget, you know, it's in presupuesto and that's the problem when uh, this changes. Thank you, Eduardo. Rivas, okay. come on. My company Perfect. has a business clinic and cafeteria. Nice. And what about the, this? That business clinic is that good? A, a good attention for that business clinic? Yes, teacher. Um, uh, medic, uh, un medic, un a doctor. doctor, a doctor, and a nurse. A doctor and a nurse. And what about the medicine? Yeah, that you have to to buy it, right? You okay, to... teacher, I don't understand. Oh, okay, the, the medicine that you have to buy that medicine or they give you that medicine for free? ¿Te dan gratis la medicina o la compras? Es como asociada como al seguro. Oh, okay. Nice. So, but the tension is good. That, 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 I guess that that's really good. Thank you. Yes, teacher, sin cola uh, ni nada. <laughs> yes, that's the point. You can save time, and even the company or the workplace uh, saves time. También ellos ahorran tiempo, okay? No complications for that. And yes, employees yes. are in good conditions. I like it. That's a good idea. Uh, Gustavo and then Rosalie. Okay, teacher. The best thing about the, my company, uh, excellent client service. Mm -hmm. uh, basic monthly basket. When you say basic monthly basket, it's something that you receive every month? Uh, yes. Oh, nice. Yes, yeah, I guess that, that that's very, very important. Not all the companies uh, do that. Thank you, Gustavo. Yeah. Uh, Rosalie? Okay. Hey. A compensation is paid each year and mm. provides study scholarships for the children that our employees. Wow, yeah. I guess that motivates the workers. 
that motivates employees. Mm -hmm. okay, Especially, teacher. yes, scholarship. Why not? If if your kids can have scholarship, yeah, you have to take advantage. So that is when you as a worker or as employee uh, want to work better for that company. Uh, thank you. And Luisa, please could you read yours? Okay, this is stability. The owner are friendly. They are accessible. We don't work on Saturday. We have a collective vacation. Mm, very positive. Okay, stability. And uh, the owners are friendly. That that's very nice because maybe they are very human. I mean, they want to have a good environment. And that's it. Yeah. Don't work on Saturday. I guess that's really but really good. I spent like 13 years in my life working from Monday to Saturday. 13 of my years. And now that I don't work on Saturday, I feel the difference. Yeah, it's a big difference. So, well, thank you. And Luisa, Katia, please. Okay, got out before for an hour on Friday. Nice. And then feed for the employees, discount on the lunch plate, sale of medicine, competitions, church years, opportunity to study a university degree, and scholarships. Okay, nice. Yo creo que me voy a ir a trabajar con ustedes. Come on, you have really good things. Yeah, I like it. Ya me van a regañar. Okay, so, well, mm, you have a lot of good things. I know that the companies or workplaces are not perfect, but uh, maybe we can have a balance, like what we receive and what we give, because if we receive good things, we also have to give our the best effort that we can as a good worker, as a good employees. Thank you. David, I don't know if you are at home finally to share maybe one positive things about your company. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Yeah, uh, can you participate, David? Yes, teacher. In my company, the extra to the low uh, discount in okay I mean permítame hello hello Hi. teacher hola hola se me cortó la señal I'm sorry problems with my, my sign up uh, you, you, you're talking about your loans acerca de préstamo Yes, teacher. Uh, in my company, the extra benefit to the low uh, discount in supermarkets and good commission pay. Oh, yeah, definitely. Commissions are good. And when there you have discounts, wow, yeah. Uh, really, really nice. Come on, it, it is like, uh, well, a lot of things. Let me check this extra. Yeah, definitely. Everybody wants discounts. Quien no quiere descuentos? Everybody wants. Okay, and I don't know if Susie can participate. Uh, if yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, the best thing about my company is job stability. Mm -hmm. I'm personal. I have been working for 20 years in the company. Uh, 20 years? Yes. Oh, wow. That's a lot of time. Nice, Susie. Very good. Uh, so you have a lot of experience and you have seen a lot of good and some other aspects but if you consider that those are positive yeah that's nice 
in the case if you have worked for 20 years si and trabajado por 12 años wow uh, tw uh, 20 20 it means that yeah good place 20. to work uh, it's a good place to work thank you okay let's go with this exercise it says idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from the literal meaning for example to be up in one's ear in work means to have a lot of work. Okay, I'm going to repeat. Idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from their literal meaning. Some palabras o frases eh, que significan diferente a lo que literalmente significa. To be up in one's ears in work it means to have a lot of work. Okay. So here have some other examples about idioms. Okay. So uh, here we have number one. As sick as dog. Okay. Uh, under the weather. Um, there's something going around. Uh, for my stomach is uh, killing me. Five. They will take it easy. Uh, can afford to call in sick. Tip top shape. Okay. Um, um, let's give a read about this. Uh, my stomach hurts badly to be very sick, to relax, to rest. Um, not feeling well, in great condition, don't have time to. Many people have this. Same thing to phone the office uh, to say you are sick. Okay, these are uh, practically the literal meaning, el significado literal de las cosas. But we're going to use some idioms and we're going to place them here. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos para que tengan try to have two or three options. Okay, ya les pregunto. Okay, any volunteers for this? And we start. Remember that we have uh, we have eight phrases, I mean eight options. Let's see who wants to participate, Eight I guess. Number, number one, did you? Okay, solo deme un segundo que tengo un problema con conexión. Ahorita comenzamos, Rosalí.
Thank you, Rosalie. I'm so sorry. Thank you for giving me some time. Okay, uh, number one says, right? Um, no, or, teacher, uh, creo what? que fue Susi. Susi. Susi sí, habló primero. <laughs> okay. Uh, fui yo, teacher. No problem. Number Guys, one? Siempre, me levantan ahí la mano. Okay, Susi, and then we go with Rosalie. Susi, tell me. Number one, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, my stomach is killing me. Okay. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Tengo que hacer computadora, me está fallando un poquito. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, number one, my stomach hurts badly. Yes, my stomach is killing me. Killing me, yeah. Thank you very much. We are done. Um, Let's see, we go with Rosalie, right? And number two. Mm -hmm. We to be very thin and maybe number one, as thick as a dog. Yeah, suena hasta raro. As thick as a dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine, sir. <laughs> uh, David, please. Number eight. Number eight. Yes. My phone, the office, to say you are sick. Yeah. Is, is number seven. Call in sick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Three. Yeah. Okay, let's go with three. Uh, take is easy. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Mm -hmm. And you can say take it easy. Como take it easy, como el la T como suena como era, because it is between two vowels, so take it easy. Thank you. And take it easy, number five, right? Who else? We have some other. Maybe we can have the participation of um, Eduardo or Rivas. Number four, teacher, calling yes. sick. Not feeling well. Okay. Mm, calling sick, just uh, it's taken. It's in number eight. Could it be some other? Or if you want, you can take some other sentence. Okay. Mm. Okay, you can take your time, no problem. Maybe we can have some other Daniel as well. If not, I'm going okay. to help you with number four. Okay, not very well. To be under the weather. Yeah, like the Mr. Reese told to Danny. Okay. Yes, Guillermo. Teacher ya tachó la número ocho, pero no, no está todavía escrito. I'm sorry. Como me está tapando aquí esta ventana. Okay. Yeah. Colin Sick is number seven, right? This one. Okay, uh, number five, 
tip top shape mm -hmm. tip top shape yeah and the tip, tip top shape there is this one yeah in great condition when you feel good physically and mentally you are nice it means that you are in tip top shape Okay, maybe Maritza. Number six, don't, don't have time to feria, can afford to. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Can afford to, you know, you don't have time. And yeah, many people have the same thing. The idiom is... Uh, there's something going around. Okay, yeah, there's something going around when uh, there's something strange, like a virus, like, I don't know, any type of sickness, okay? So that's it. Um, these are the answers, okay? about um this exercise okay so uh, by the moment let's go with the song vámonos con la canción que tenemos por acá okay here we have a song who was in church let me check vamos a revisar acá quién está a cargo de la canción que nos toca ahora Gustavo right Yes, Gustavo. Ok, teacher. Yeah. Voy a tratar de compartir con el teléfono. Yeah, in a moment. Yeah, okay. you can do it now. ¿Te logra verte ya? Yes, my friend. Ok. Eh, everybody got the, their dogs in life to pay. I know nobody knows where it comes and where it goes. I know is everybody thing you go to lose to know how to win half my half my life in in book written by it a story in fact learning from food and from target okay uh is it from a band a rock band or an, a singer is a uh, a rock band a rock band from United States? Yes. Everybody's got this to... Well, okay, continue uh, with the words because I don't get it, but okay. Tell me, what words uh, have you identified? ¿Qué palabras has identificado? Okay, este... Um... You is su, subject pronoun, pronouns, mm -hmm. uh, po, possessive a, adjective, my. My possessive uh, adjective, yes. Article uh, two. Uh, preposition in. in. And 
irregular verb uh, go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you, Gustavo. A lot of words that you have at identifying these. Honestly, I don't have an, any idea about this song, the name of the song, or, or the band. I don't know the participants, eh, any idea? Because the band I don't. is Aerosmith. Yes. Aerosmith? Yes, they know. Oh, okay. Dream on. Okay, yes, dream. Yeah, dream on. Yeah. Ah. Uh, Parece ah, que cantar. Es, esa es la primera parte. This is the first part. Yeah, la canta. Eh, son este. Mm. Por, la, por eso hay que cantarla para que adivinemos. Cántela, Gustavo. <laughs> no me la puedo mucho, todavía me la estoy aprendiendo. Okay, yeah. It, it begins with the, the keyboard, the piano. Comienza con el piano, okay? <laughs> well, I'm going to I'm going to practice it. I can practice it, but thank you, sí. Gustavo. I didn't pay attention to the beginning part of this. Maybe because of the 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 choirs, the coro, más que todo. But yeah, a nice song. Thank you. Uh -huh. Good, eh, good buena, selection. Buena sí, buenísima. Thank you. Okay. okay, Gustavo, you are free. The next person for tomorrow will be Eduardo. Eduardo, can you? Yes, teacher. Okay, my dear friend. Uh, please, for tomorrow, uh, your son. Okay. Uh, okay. Please. Thank you. Um, well, let's check what do we have here. In this case, we were working, we were working, let me check this, uh, about the present perfect, you remember, yesterday, the present perfect tense, we studied affirmatives, and practically we uh, did a lot of exercises, especially uh, the ones from the manual, but I presented some others. So remember that for affirmative, we have to use have or has. For negative, haven't or have not, hasn't or has not. But for the question at the beginning, you should have have or has. The tener have or has al inicio. And also uh, the subject that it is com it is very common to have uh, subject pronouns and past participle verbs, verbos en pasado participio. Okay, so now that we have uh, that we are clear about this, I have some exercises for you. Tengo un par de ejercicios. Okay, questions. Lo vamos a hacer aquí en conjunto. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Le doy un par de segundos para que vean estos ejercicios y los completamos. Ok. Okay, uh, who wants to be the first? Here we have just 10 sentences. Remember that we're going to use the verbs in parentheses 
But these verbs are in past participle, okay? You can raise your hand. To start. Okay, Daniel. The first. Okay. Question. Uh, what do you think? The number one is question. Have you painted the kitchen door? Thank you. Have you painted? The kitchen door. Thank you. Remember that the word to, uh, it is not included. La palabra to no se incluye porque al final um, es simplemente un infinitive, right? Okay, Rosalie, what about you? Number three. Mm -hmm. uh, no, is has Julian ever? Okay, number touch touch a spider. Okay, very nice. Has Julian? Okay, we are talking about third person. Estamos hablando de las terceras personas, right? So that. That's why uh, we say as Julian. Mm -hmm. Coach. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, who else? Mm hmm. Okay, David. Number 10, teacher. Okay. Number 10. Yeah. Have you ever cooked for your friends? Okay. Have you ever cooked? Okay, cook. Mm -hmm. que se escribe cooked. cooked for your friends thank you okay uh, maybe we can have Daniel and Luisa okay um, the number six mm -hmm. what what have you do wrong in your text Okay, aquí sería written. written. Bien raro ese, huh? written. written. Es irregular, yes, porque wrote es pasado simple. Yes. What have you written in your text? Thank you. Okay, Luisa, and then we go with Susie. Okay, Luisa. Um, the number two mm -hmm. is a question, ¿verdad? Yeah, it's a question. Uh, has mm -hmm. your brother, uh, no sé cuál es el otro de cómo. Don. Don to shopping. Yeah, it's an irregular verb. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Done the shopping. Thank you. Susie, are you there? And after uh, Susie, number, we'll go with Eduardo. Seven. seven. Has Bill turned off the radio? Mm -hmm. Turn off. Uh, turn. Mm -hmm. Turn. Turn yes. off. Turn off the radio. Thank you. Okay, Eduardo, and then we'll go with Guillermo. Okay, number eight. Have you ever flew in a helicopter? Mm -hmm.
Okay, uh, what about uh, Guillermo and Maritza? Creo que Maritza no ha pasado, ¿verdad? O sí, Maritza. Okay, number five. Mm -hmm. Has Lee asked ask his parents yet? Okay. I'm sorry, could you repeat, please? And number five, has Lee yeah. asked his parents yet? Yeah, his parents yet. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Maritza? Number four, has mm -hmm. your father ever, ever riding on mm -hmm. an elephant? Okay, yeah. Riden sería, porque Riden me suena a, com a Mortal Kombat. Me recuerdo a mis niñas. Yes, Riden. Thank you. And number nine. Ok. Aquí sería junto. Maybe we can have... Ok, very simple. Lo vamos a hacer acá. Who has broken the window? Ok. El, es el único diferente. Who has broken. Pero el resto se dan cuenta que va have or has the beginning. And uh, when we have open questions, cuando tenemos las preguntas abiertas, porque las preguntas cerradas son de respuesta sí o no. The answer is yes or no. But in this case, um, here we have have you. Y le agregamos la palabra what. En lugar de instead of what, puede ir where, when, how, why. Solo en el caso de who, que va unido. Okay. So, well, thank you. We're going to complete uh, two more activities and we say goodbye. Dos actividades más. Según el manual, tenemos algo acá. Okay. And we're going, uh, here we have, you are sick. Ustedes digamos que están enfermos. Alguien de ustedes tiene alguna enfermedad. And call into your workplace to explain the situation. Certain B, you attend the call and ask the, your classmate what the matter is. Then change the roles. Después cambian los roles, okay? Uh, use four or five idioms in your conversations. Pueden utilizar cualquiera de las frases idiomática que ustedes ya tienen acá. Uh, I recommend you to do this, ¿ok? Ya se acuerdan, ustedes ya son buenos haciendo conversaciones. So, good morning, this is Mr., ¿ok? Uh, hello, Mr. Ruiz, uh, this is Jenny, I have a situation. Hi, tell me, what's the matter? I'm not feeling well. Entonces pueden hacerlo hasta la mitad, si ustedes gustan, no necesitan que lo hagan por completo. I'm going to present here, les presento estas... Síntomas, pueden utilizar cualquiera de estos síntomas. Ok. Le voy a dar unos 7, 8 minutos. And then we'll listen to all of your uh, conversations, uh, de sus conversaciones relacionadas a esto. Ok. Remember that we can use some idioms. Pueden utilizar algunas frases idiomáticas que nosotros ya las tenemos pues, bastante claras. Like this. Take it easy. Algunas que están en el, ¿cómo se llama? En la conversación, ok. I'm going to, uh, you have this, ya lo tiene. En el manual, ok. So, see you in a moment. Lo veo en un momento. Let's practice. Si gusta, me puede ayudar um, Maritza enviándome esta. Para que pues la tengan por si quieren. If you want to mention some other symptoms. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends. Get it. Thank you. Gracias. Thank you so much. Aceptamos la solicitud y trabajamos.
Maritza te envié a las seis. Sí, pero no aquí regresé, dicha. Ok, ok. Eh, ya te envío de nuevo, permítame. Ok. ¿Qué pasó, Maritza? No, no puedes sí, ingresar. Es, eh, no, ¿Ah? no sé. Eh, me, le doy unirme, pero se queda cargando a las 5 y luego me... Vaya, me te voy a unirme. meter a las 5 y ahí voy a ingresar a, a Rosalí. ¿Acepta ahora? Okay. ok.
Okay, let's see what are some of your conversations. I know that you are ready. We are about to finish just 10, well, nine minutes, nine minutes y terminamos. Let's listen to some of your uh, short conversations about idioms, about symptoms, about how to ask for permission. Maybe we can have the first one. Uh, Guillermo, could you finish your short conversation? Yes, true. Okay, let's see what you have with who was your classmate? Was Gustavo. Okay, Gustavo, okay. Gustavo, are you ready? Okay. Please go. ¿Con quién era, teacher? Con, oh. eh, creo que con Guillermo, ¿sabes? Eh, no, con, David, con David. Con David oh. estaba. Okay. Let me check, let me check. Guillermo, Guillermo with Daniel. Guillermo with and Gustavo no, with Dave. Como dijo Gustavo. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Daniel. <laughs> you were quiet. Okay, Guillermo and Daniel, please. Good morning. This is Mr. Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Ruiz. Uh, this is Guillermo. I have a situation. Hi, uh, Yanni. Yanni, tell me what what's the matter. I'm not feeling well today. My back is killing me, and I can't walk. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, I was feeling under the weather. No, really, there's something going going around. Okay, could it be until there? No problem. Thank you. Well done. And let's listen to David and Gustavo, please. And then we go with Rosalie and Maritza. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good afternoon. This is David. Yeah. Hello. It's Gustavo. This is. Hello, Guillermo. It is Gustavo. I have a situation. Hi, Gustavo. Tell me, what's the the matter? Mother. I know. Feel well, well today. Uh, my my body is kill kill me. I I think I have a fever. Okay, I understand. Two days ago, uh, I was feeling under the weather too. Oh, really? There are some time going around. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, yeah. I am in tip-top shape. They eat easy, Gustavo. I have hope to see you on tomorrow. Thanks a lot, Miss uh, Davis. Have a nice rest of of day. Yeah, very nice, very complete. Thank you, David and Gustavo. Rosalie, please. Uh, what about okay. you? Hey, we're going to finish with uh, Rivas and Eduardo. Okay, Rosalie. Good morning. This is Yvonne. Hello, Yvonne. This is Maritza. I have a situation. Hi, Maritza. Tell me what is the matter. I'm not feeling well today. I have a cold that is killing me. Okay, understand. Take it easy. I think I hope to see you on two days. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Concrete. Um, thank you. We're going to finish with Rivas and Eduardo. Please, could you? Okay. 
Good evening, this is Mr. Eduardo. Hello, Mr. Eduardo, this is Rivas. I have a situation. Hi, Rivas, tell me what's the matter. This day I feel very bad. A tooth is aching. You have to go to the dentist immediately. Right now, I am going to heal myself. I hope that you continue better, Mr. Rivas. Hey, thank you, Mr. Eduardo. Okay. Finish. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Perfect. That's that. That's really good. Thank you. Okay, my friends, I'm going to check the attendance list. Uh, remember to say hi, hello, good evening, goodbye. Mm, we also, well, I guess the one that is going to be with me tonight is um, Guillermo. Okay, Guillermo. Uh, I need you some couple of minutes after the class. But for the others, let's say hi, hello, goodbye. Adi not here. Christy, no, I guess no. Luisa, hi. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Rivas. Present teacher. Perfect. Uh, Daniel. Present teacher, good night. Good night, David. Present. Perfect, okay, Evelyn not here. Guillermo, hi. Present teacher. Good, thank you, Katia. Present teacher, good night. Good night. Uh, Maritza. Present. Good night. Very nice. Uh, Gustavo. Present teacher, good night. Okay, Oscar Daniel, I don't know. Eduardo, yes, right. Yeah. Present yes, teacher. Thank you. Um, uh, Rosalie. Present. Thank, thank you. Uh, we go with Susie. Okay, uh, my friends, see you tomorrow. Mm, remember, we're about to finish Unit 3. Ya casi vamos a terminar la unidad 3, así que avance con las tareas, okay? Me quedo solo con Guillermo. The rest, bye-bye. Have a good night. Pasen feliz noche. Bye-bye. Okay, Guillermo, this is going to be like very simple and fast, right? Uh, I don't know if you have questions, dudas, or preguntas con algún tema. I guess no, uh, very easy, right? Bastante fáciles. Okay. Um, con la plataforma, no problem with the platform? Mm, so no, creo que es solo una pregunta, no la hallé como la estructura, creo yo que fue la unidad 2. Pero solo fue una, las demás y la encontré. ¿Te acuerdas cuál fue la tarea en específico? Quiero ver. Y la vemos rápido. Ahorita veo. Ok. Todavía me está cargando este boludo. Lo siento, estoy viendo la parte de la plataforma acá. Mm, ¿Ya lo tienes? Sí, ahorita me está cargando. Ok, sí, a veces. Perdo un poquito en eso. Pero igual, el resto no ha habido mayor dificultad. No, eh, no. solo hubo una tarea, creo que. Creo que fue la 6. De la parte 2 o 3. De la, de, la, de la unidad 2. Ok. Pero no fue el midterm, fue el homework. No. Right? Ok. 
Escuela 6 fue, ajá. Uh Porque ahí le pregunta... Read the sentences, find the -huh. mistake. Ah, ya sé cuál es. Y es, fue la 1 o la 2. No, fue la 5. 5. Solo que sería... le pone... There are not person... Pero ahí no sé si creo que solo es person, ¿verdad? No, sería there are not people to work. Ah, uh, no. Mm -hmm. Because a person is singular. Mm -hmm. Intentame decir. There are not. Mm -hmm. There are not people to work. Punto. Sí, eso era. Lo demás oh. todo, todo está bien. Ok, eh, les había llegado información, ¿verdad? Un correo sobre el nuevo curso, ¿verdad? Sí, pero el mío dice curso 5. No ha llegado un, ¿cómo se llama? Un, un correo este, como pues solventando el error. Eso porque eso es lo que me habían comentado la vez pasada. Que si había sí, llegado, no, no para al nada. Menos yo, yo no lo he recibido. Ok. Eh, si, si puedes, este, ¿cómo se llama? Me mandas la captura de, de, de ese correo. Ok, Guillermo. Al ser así, la, yo la lo mando. mando. Al grupo. Eh, no, mándamelo a mí, al privado. Mándamelo y yo se lo voy a mandar a, a, a mi coordinadora para que vea ese punto, porque no, ustedes están terminando el, el módulo 5, estaría definitivamente el módulo 6. Ya el último del, de todo el, el nivel básico y pues después del 6 van al intermedio 1. Ok, Guillermo, entonces estaría pendiente con eso, si puedes ahora o mañana, ¿verdad? Para ver ese detalle para que no haya dificultades con su inscripción y no se pierda tiempo. Ahorita se la mando. Ok. Ok, pues se me va a olvidar. Vaya, sí, sí, comprendo. No hay problema. Este, ¿Hay alguna otra duda o pregunta? Guillermo, creo que contigo vamos bastante bien, ¿verdad? Eh, yo siento que todo está bien. Hay unas cosas como que estuvimos viendo, creo que la clase pasada, la de ayer, creo yo. Pero al final sí, sí la logro entender. O sea, como no. he estado trabajando un poco de más, vengo algo cansado, entonces me da como pereza estar ahí. Sí, claro. No, yo, yo comprendo, es más, eh, pues, eh, por demás el cerebro está un poquito más cansado, pero sé que tú captas, eh, de, eres de los estudiantes más sobresalientes y, y siempre estás un poquito muy pendiente, así que, pues, eso sería... Que... ¿Mm? Dime. Cayó uno... Porque cayó uno el 5, mira. Cayó uh -huh. uno ayer. Que decía principiante módulo 4, dice. Uh -huh. Y dice, luego ayer le respondió Marisol Chavarría. Las disculpas del caso, era para el principiante módulo 6, dice. Como que ya lo corrigió. No, pero ya lo corrigió, dice. Ah, ya lo corrigieron. Sí, ajá, esa muchacha Marisol Echeverría. Ah, sí, ella, ella es la, 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 la coordinadora general. Ajá, es que mm. se le había mandó uno, pero módulo 4 decía. Uh -huh. O sea, en el, como en el, en el asunto estaba en la de... nivel, ah. ajá, módulo 5 dice, y, uh -huh. y más abajo decía módulo 4 ya después, en la cola de correos es que lo corrigió. Que es para el módulo 6. Solo okay. que a mí no me había caído la notificación hasta ahorita que abrí el correo. Ok. Va, no, pero entonces... pues sí, ya está. Ah, pues ya estamos ya listos. Muy bien, gracias. Entonces, Guillermo, cualquier cosa, ahí estamos. Perdiendo, tiene mi número, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa, ahí me escribe así. Y ánimo, ya estamos terminando la unidad 3. La otra semana terminamos todo el módulo, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Ok, have a good night. Feliz noche. Good night. Bye bye.